Hi guys, I'm Anisha and welcome back to another video. So today we'll talk about repairing our skin barrier or moisture barrier. Now before that, let's discuss what exactly is skin barrier, how to identify if we have a compromised skin barrier or not, and then what should you do about it. So let's get started. Now skin barrier basically is the outermost layer of the skin which protects it from environmental threats while also reducing transepidermal water loss. Let me explain. Imagine your skin barrier as a brick wall wherein the bricks are the skin cells and the mortar is the fat lipids which hold the cells together, also trap in the hydration so that it won't leave your skin. Now imagine another wall with lots of holes in it. You can see through it. What would happen? The weather outside will affect the inside too because the barrier which was the wall is now broken. Now this is applied to your skin as well. When the physical barrier is broken, your skin is exposed to outside environmental stresses like dirt, dust, pollution, which could penetrate into your skin and cause skin issues. Now this happens the other way around too. Your skin now is no longer able to hold in the hydration and loses water through transepidermal water loss. As a result, you have dehydrated skin and skin concerns with lack of protection. Now we know what a skin barrier is. So step one is to identify if we have a compromised skin barrier or not. And it's not that difficult. Ask yourself these questions. Do you have sensitive skin? Redness on inflamed skin? Do you have dry skin to the point that it is flaky in some areas? Do you suffer from acne? Does your skin feel dehydrated or sometimes extensively producing oil like more than it was used to before? or the products you are applying or you're cleansing your face and your skin on the face burns and stings. If yes, then you do have a compromised moisture barrier. And it's okay, we are here to learn more about our skin and take baby steps to improve our routine. But if your skin barrier is severely damaged to the point that you have rosacea or contact dermatitis, then it's better that you consult a dermatologist or an esthetician and get yourself a prescription-based routine. Once we have identified the problem, let's move on to step two and know about what are things we should stop doing in order to prevent the situation from getting worse. First and foremost is to check the ingredients of the products you are using. You have to avoid harsher ingredients like alcohols, skin irritants like essential oils, fragrance, too many botanical extracts because you never know what could react to your skin and make your skin sensitivity even worse. You also have to stop exfoliating your face for a while, be it a physical exfoliation through scrub or enzymes or a chemical one through AHAs, BHAs, PHAs or vitamin A for that matter. You also need to ditch stronger cleansers that would strip the natural oils on your skin. Reduce the products that you're using, reduce your skincare routine to just the essentials, the bare essentials. You don't have to use too many products, give your skin a break. Step three, what all things you should be doing or adding into your routine. Now keep in mind, moisturization is the key. Adding soothing, calming ingredients, hydrating products and lots and lots of emollients. You have to add in hydration that is lost in your skin and make a physical barrier so that the hydration is intact inside and it also acts as a shield to the free radicals outside. Let's start with cleansing. Use a gentle hydrating cleanser, one which is close to the natural pH of your skin which is 5.5. You can use the uh, simple micellar gel wash or simple hydrating gel cleanser i don't know what the name is but that one is a really good everyday cleanser it doesn't have harsh chemicals no fragrance it is not expensive and it won't give you that squeaky clean feel that is bad that that's bad moving on skipping the exfoliation step and the toning step now toners aren't that necessary and now is the time to simplify your routine to just the bare basics. But if you do want to use a toner, use one that's hydrating or has ingredients that would strengthen the skin barrier and nothing 
alcohol based and please no essential oils now let's move on to the treatment step this is where you will add in a serum to restore the hydration calm your skin down and add in a little bit of antioxidants concentrate on ingredients like allantoin glycerin hyaluronic acid centella asiatica niacinamide bisabol oil this would help your skin immensely also the texture of the serum is such that it would get absorbed into your skin quickly after the serum apply a good moisturizer one with ceramides fatty acids probiotics all of these naturally occur in our skin and in our natural skin barrier we are just applying it topically because our skin barrier is damaged you can also look out for oils like squalane rose hip oil jojoba oil these are good for that extra nourishment and a seal on top and lastly but very important finish off with a sunscreen protect your skin from the sun choose a physical or a mineral based sunscreen over a chemical one you don't want to use a chemical uv filter that could potentially react to your skin at a point where a skin barrier is already weak and these were all the steps i hope this video was informative somewhat helpful and uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends family neighbor anyone Just subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye